Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how to use Darwin Designer tool and how to optimize the network by using that tool. Okay, so let's start the video. Uh, I have already built the network. Okay, you have to um, build the network first, then provide all the necessary requirements just like uh, elevations, tank, staging, then go to the analysis where you will get the Darwin uh, Darwin and click on the down uh, drop down arrow you will get the three options Darwin calibrator Darwin designer and Darwin scheduler we need Darwin designer click on that and then you will get the window something similar to this okay then click on the new option and click new designer study after creating new uh, workplace we have to create a uh, new design event okay here you will see the new option and create new event and give naming something like i will give darwin design okay now we have the option activated you have to give the start time design time so don't change the uh, default time then we have demand multiplier we will give demand multiplier 3 pick factor then we have the minimum pressure default so what pressure you need minimum i need 7 meter minimum pressure and maximum 50 meter so it does not exceed the 50 meter limit and range should be between 7 to 50 meter okay then put the minimum velocity i will put 0 0.001 to 1.2 so velocity should not uh, go beyond the range okay you have put the condition on the designer now we have to constrain the pressure and flow so uh, below you will see the pressure constraint click on that and go to the select from drawing option you will get the last option here you can see the select from drawing click on that and select the all the network you will see the all the junction has been selected click on right and all the junctions are created in the section if you want to change specific junction pressure you can click on the override default and put that means you need 10 meter pressure minimum 10 meter pressure on the junction j1 and j2 maximum will be same 50 okay you can uh, override the pressure from here okay same have same has been done to the flow constraint go to the select from drawing select drawing and click on okay here you will see all the pipes has been selected now we have the design group next to the design event here you can see the design group click on that here you will the, see the three options new delete and select element from design group we need this option select element from design group click on that and here you will see all the selection set has been uh, showing so i will need all the elements so all available click ok you will see all the elements has been created then we have rehabilitation group which we do not need it use when we have existing network or we want to uh, edit some existing network and propose some additional network into that okay so we will skip that and go to the cost here you will have to put the pipe material and cost to uh, the system here yeah. click on new pipe create new folder and give naming like pipe material okay here you will see pipe material dia has been William and unit cost i have already prepared in the excel format 
so i will just copy those and paste into the network okay here you will see material diameter hydrogen minimum and unit cost so we have provided all the necessary properties to the designer now we have to create uh, design folder okay go to the new design study and create new new optimized design run this option will optimize the uh, network there we have another option like new create manual design run it will uh, optimize network by manually we have to change the network continuously but by optimizing design run it will give us the optimized solution so first option we have the design event it needs to be active always then we have design group this is the design group okay we have to choose the cost properties so we have created earlier the pipe material just choose pipe material to all the pipes which means this pipe will take the pipe material and dia and cost from this folder okay then we have re rehabilitation group which is we will ignore then we have the option uh, unless you are water science expert do not touch any of the option given here okay and then we have the stopping criteria you can change the stopping criteria we have 50000 okay 50000 it means it will try maximum trial 50000 it will simulate the network uh, 50000 times so i will increase that by 200000 now the more you will increase the accurate your answer will be so keep that in mind and we have generations so i will put 600 on that and solution to keep i want one solution so i will put one solution it will give the number of solution you put into that cell okay then uh, go to the new optimize design run and compute the network here you can see the trials we have put 200000 uh, it will try up to 200000 and give the optimized solution to the designer now the calculation has done and reaches maximum trial so the option is created here you can see the solution one is given if you click on the multiple solution it will give the multiple solutions here the total cost this is the total cost of the uh, network and here is the solution given by the darwin designer you can see all the diameters we have here is the optimized solution given by the darwin designer but uh, from my perspective this is not the optimized solution this is definitely given by the uh, darwin designer but i will not recommend you should use this diameter into your network while completing your project because you will find some errors in the network that by doing manually design uh, you can optimize more accurately to the network uh, this solution definitely you can use in bigger network for starters but after that you have to uh, optimize it uh, manually so uh, you will get the perfect solution 
because this is not the perfect solution uh, after implementing this dia into your network you will see the difference okay so i will not recommend uh, that you should use this dia directly into your network uh, you can definitely start from this dia but you have to do manually to get the accurate result okay so uh, that's it for now if you have any queries or questions you can directly ask me through my linkedin account or uh, if you want uh, any specific topic to i should cover you can comment below or message me through my linkedin account thank you for watching guys we will meet in next video